The earth is in danger. And without processing what could happen, scientists are creating their own type of black hole. This is the headlines of different news networks that talk about this place. This place is called the Large Hadron Collider, and they also refer to it as LHC, and some even call it CERN, since it's from the company CERN. This place began operating at the year 2008, and some interesting tests have taken place. Tests that a lot of people are worried about. They say because of this machine, the Earth is in danger. Can this device make the Earth explode? This place is ran under the European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN. But LHC is located right here, on the border of Switzerland and France. This place is basically a circular tunnel that's underground, and its circumference is 27 kilometers. In the tunnel, there's two vacuum pipes running through it, and in some places, they join together. There are 1,232 magnets placed inside the pipes as well. So what's the point of this machine? Its main focus is to speed up a proton near the speed of light, and that's inside these pipes you see. The magnets that are placed around the pipes are the most important part to make this thing work properly. These magnets are connected with 250,000 kilometers worth of wires. 250,000 is an insane number. You could go around the earth six times and some. We could say inside these tunnels, it's one of the biggest refrigerators as well. At least a refrigerator that's man-made. To make the magnets work properly, they have to be cooled down to minus 271.3 degrees centigrade. And to reach this type of temperature, 120 tons worth of liquid helium has to be pumped in the pipes. In a normal household, there's 30 to 50 grams worth of a gas called R134A. So in this case, we could say the level of coolness inside these pipes is 4 million times a normal refrigerator. But this place's job is not to cool down foods and beverages. The cold temperature for the magnets is used for the scientists to solve problems. You guys have heard of matter, right? Matter is formed with different molecules, and molecules are formed with different types of atoms. Atoms are made from protons, electrons, and neutrons. Scientists say the smartest part of the nucleus in an atom is the proton, but they also believe that inside the protons, there are way more smaller things, things called quarks. Do you know how big a quark is? If you imagine one atom the size of planet Earth, one proton of that atom is 100 meters, and that's exactly the same size as a football field. And if you want to see the quark inside that proton, compared to the planet's size atom, it's only 5 centimeters. One of the reasons this facility works is to realize what quarks are, and you guys just realize how small they are. One of the research that's done in this place is to speed up two protons inside the tunnels and face them against each other and smash them together. If you take two pieces of bricks and smash them together, what will happen? The bricks break apart and little parts from the inside fall out. In this research facility, they realize that you could do the same thing with protons and when you crash them against each other, small things fall out. Scientists believe if you want to hit neutrons at this speed together, it's like putting two needles inside each other. It seems impossible, and that is why hitting two neutrons together exactly is an actual difficult task.
Other things that CERN do is to research things about the universe and how laws of physics work. And one of the recent things they have found is the Higgs boson. Higgs boson is also referred to as the God particle. And they believe everything is made from this. And if it's not here, nothing will have mass. And without it, everything would be weightless. In this machine, when two protons crash into each other, the stuff that comes out are there, but they can be hardly detected. Even though they have this multi-billion dollar machine in front of them, scientists have a hard time detecting those little particles that fly out. If you know what antimatter is, you've probably heard of this facility and how it works. And the antimatter that we have here on Earth was made in the Large Hadron Collider. In our world, atoms have a positively charged nucleus and negative electrons that float around it. But an antimatter atom is the opposite. The nucleus is negative and positively charged electrons are revolving around it. In an antimatter, the nucleus is called the antiproton and the electron that's positive is called the positron. Scientists believe that matter and antimatter is like two things looking in the mirror. If we are antimatter and look in the mirror and the other person is matter and we lift our right arm, the matter will lift the left arm. You guys have heard of hydrogen the simplest atom in the universe. It has one proton, one electron. So the simplest antimatter in the world should be an anti-hydrogen atom. And instead of the electron, it has a positron. And instead of the proton, it has anti-proton. Creating antimatter is no simple task. They have made antimatter in this facility, but it's so dangerous that you cannot play around without it. Scientists believe that if antimatter collides with matter, it could cause an explosion. Physicists believe if you have one kilograms of antimatter, they would create the same explosion of the SAR bomb. The SAR bomb is a hydrogen bomb, and it's the most powerful nuclear weapon we've tested on Earth. Most physicists find the LHC machine to be a good thing for science and everything has been used for, it has helped humanity. But there are other scientists that are against this machine and they say the LHC alone could end the world. The physicists that disagree with this system operating say with the smallest mistake, we could create a microscopic black hole. You, you might say it's microscopic, who cares? It's not gonna hurt anybody. But that tiny black hole will start up to suck up molecule and suck anything bigger and bigger inside itself. And in the end, it would suck the entire planet in on itself. But the employees of the Large Hadron Collider say everything is in control and we are not putting anyone in danger. And that is why they've been operating for more than 15 years and no accidents has taken place. And some scientists say, if an accident did take place, you and I would not be here right now talking about it. There is another theory that different physicists have came up with. They say if an accident takes place in this facility, no black hole would be created, but a wormhole would be created. And in theory, with a wormhole, you have access to a very far location in the universe. You guys told us to make a video about the Large Hadron Collider. And I hope with this video, we answered your questions.